What's up guys? Remy and Mo here again. What's up guys? It's me, Meg, and I'm back this week with a new video for you all. What's up guys? Mo and Meg here again. And this week... Your voice cracks like every single video. It's disgusting. What's up guys? Mo and Meg here again. And we're back this week to talk about stuff we've really been digging this month. Stuff we've really been loving. So today we've compiled some things that we've really been using a lot this past month, stuff we really liked, and that we want to share with you guys. We hope you enjoy. I hate you. <laughs> so our first category is beauty products type stuff. Okay. That was disgusting. I had hair in my mouth. Uh, so I actually showed this product in one of my vlogs. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. This is from the Zoella Beauty brand. She's a really big British YouTuber. I've been over that but it's called Blissful Mistful and it's a fragrance body mist. So it's not like a straight perfume because I'm not like a straight perfume type person. I like the body sprays and the body mists and this is kind of a good in between and it smells freaking delicious. You even smell it in the place? Uh, I told you I did, but I couldn't smell it. That does smell good. Yeah, I just, I really like the scent of it. I have no idea how to describe it. In the Zoella Blissful Mistful, we have a good combination of Floral, with a hint of, I would say, fresh. It is refreshingly floral. I it reminds me of like perfume, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like it's a really like fresh, really light scent. Like it's not in your face, it's not too strong. I don't like strong, musty scents at all. Look musty. like it. Must do you know? Musky. 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 When you, wow. said, when you said musty, I pictured someone just like spraying dirt on themselves. <laughs> that perfume has a really nice smell of um, trash basement with attic. A little bit. Just a little bit of attic. A little hint of attic. This is great. I seriously recommend it. You're welcome. The first beauty product I have is a face mask. It is the snail jelly mask. It sounds gross. I never knew that's what it was called. I never paid attention. Like I saw this little cute snail on it and I was like, oh, snail. the reason I like it is working in a hospital, your skin tends to get really, really dry. Um, the air is just, like I said, it's really dry. So this is really good for rehydration. It's like one of those sheet masks things that makes you look really scary. <laughs> but it's really nice, you leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes and then when you take it off, all of that, what would you call that, gel? It's like yeah, gel. Like seep into your skin. You rub it into your skin oh. and you work it in and it's so hydrated, it looks so refreshed and nice and I just love it. The snail jelly mask has just been great. Yay. Love, love her. Oh, well, Megan and I actually both have this as a favorite because like I said, I copied Megan. Megan bought this. She said it was great. Then I also bought it. And it is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, Bang! From Benefit Cosmetics. I bought this at Ulta. I cannot explain how good my lashes look when this is on. It's so good. If you guys like their reel from Benefit, it's similar to their, their reel in the sense that it's really lengthening, but it's also really volumizing, whatever that means. But like, like it, it makes my lashes look so long and like really thick. So Bad Gal Bang is it's top notch. The last beauty product I have is the wet, well, is this a beauty product? Well, technically. Cause like when you do stuff with your hair, that's beauty related. Yeah, beauty slash hair. So I got this wet brush and it's kind of like flexible. You can see that. I keep this in my shower and use it when my hair is wet, obviously has wet brush. Um, but it's really nice. You literally, it just goes right through your hair. I have really, really long hair. It gets tangled really easily. So it's really nice to have this just to comb through before I put up my conditioner in. And it's just, it's great. Love, love this guy. I so. copied Megan and I also bought that as well. Are you serious? Yeah, it's in my shower right now. Are you gonna go check right now? Megan, you thief! This is garbage! <laughs> So this looks just like, <laughs> yeah, I knew this was gonna look Just weird. one single just wipe. Just one <laughs> single wipe. This is a face wipe. I just brought one. It looks so funny. I know, I just brought one. I didn't, I threw away the box. So this is an Olay four-in-one facial wipe. This takes off all my makeup. I use it after I work out at the gym just to get, you know, all the sweat and the grossness out of my face. So it's also a facial cleanser. It's also a toner and then it works as a face mask. Like it has all the benefits of a face mask as well. So this is so awesome for your skin. Like it just completely clears out your pores. 
it's awesome. And it's water activated, so right now it's dry, but once you get it all wet, it gets all sudsy, and you just lather up your face or use it as a hat. <laughs> anyway, it's great. It's now a great fashion choice, and I seriously recommend it. I, it's awesome. It makes my, feel, my face feel so clean. So the next category we've got is food slash drink. I think this month, I know I only have a drink, Mo. Do you have I have food? one drink and one food. The drink I have this month that I've really been enjoying is this tea. I only have the bag. It's Honey Lavender Stress Relief Tea from Yogi Brand. I really love this. Honey Lavender is really, I don't want to say it's refreshing, but it's really nice to have at night to kind of wind down. It's just very soothing is a better way to say it. So I've really been enjoying this. It's great. You can drink it hot or cold. I drink it hot, but um, yeah, Yogi Brand tea is great. So I also have a tea because we just keep copying each other and everything. But you know, it's fine. Sorry. But I have been obsessed with green tea. I Not a specific brand of green tea. This is just like the Bigelow tea. But I ordered a bunch more from random brands. So just green tea. I've been having like two cups of this a day. I don't know why I'm obsessed because I'm usually a coffee person. I'm not really a tea person. But I've switched. I've changed my ways and I have gone to tea. I also have a food item and it's the Woodstock brand, which I had never heard of until I went to the healthy organic aisle at um, my grocery store. And these are just dried mango slices. It's very tasty. And I use this as kind of like my dessert at night because it is very sweet, but it's all like natural sugar. So yeah, I use this as my dessert and it is so good. And I have to keep myself from just shoveling it in my face. <laughs> and they're non-GMO, so that's cool. They're it's not, really good. Yeah, they're not genetically modified. Next category we have is books. This month I have really been loving the Four Agreements. This is a fantastic book. I got it for Christmas and I've read it three times since then. So if you are looking for something, I don't know how to describe it. If you're looking to kind of change up your lifestyle and just looking for some positive motivation on how to have a better outlook on life, etc., etc. I would definitely recommend looking into this. It is just, it's so good and it gives you such a clear view of how you can change your lifestyle to view the world more clearly and just be happier in general. Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's, it's fantastic. I recommend it to anybody. If you haven't read this, I would highly recommend reading it. All right, so my book is I, I won't say that word because, you know. The art of not giving up. A fudge. <laughs> so this is by Mark Manson. It's a counterintuitive counter approach to living a good life, which is something that I think everybody wants to have. And yeah, I don't know. I'm very in the beginning of this book. I'm very new to this book. So I can't say that it's just been life changing or anything to me yet. I can't because I'm not that far into it. But so far I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's actually really funny. He makes situations funny. Like it's not like all serious, like, I don't know, like other kind of like self-help books can be. Like he puts humor into it, which I really enjoy and really appreciate. So yeah, hopefully this will be life-changing. And one more book. It's not something I have been reading, but something I have been using every day. It's been my lifesaver for the past month is my planner here. I got this off of Etsy. I'll link it down below. I am not somebody that plans anything. Literally nothing. Mo, you can attest to this, do yeah, I? Yeah, you know, Megan. I don't plan- Flying by the seat of your pants, as my mom would say. Yeah, I'm very spontaneous, but with starting a new job, um, lots of things to uh, kind of plan for. I need, I need this. It allows me, it gives me space here at the beginning of every month, so this is for April, to write everything down this month's plan, stuff I need to get done, and then it has like- Oh, I like it when it's- Yeah, it has like daily, like every day where you can write. So it allows me to stay organized um, and just really keep track of my life, which as much as I don't like to plan things and as much as I haven't done that in the past, it's been really helpful for me this past month. So, wonderful. So now we're going to move on to music. So I haven't been, it's one song that I've been obsessed with. It's not a whole album, it's not an artist, it's one song. And it's Freaky Friday by Lil Dicky featuring Chris Brown. It's a hilarious song, it's so funny. I, I don't know, it's just, it it's cracked. catchy. It's so catchy. I was dancing all throughout my kitchen, very embarrassingly, 
yesterday while I was doing chores. <laughs> it's so, so good. It's so, it's so good and I recommend it if you're looking for something funny and catchy and so easily to dance, something so easily dance worthy. Uh, for me, when it comes to music, I'm all over the place. So I, I can't say I have a favorite. It's just been like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> Last category we have is random favorites. So random favorite for me this month has been my stethoscope. Yay. I have two stethoscopes. This one here is my pediatric stethoscope. If you've ever seen a stethoscope, you can tell this one is really- It's so cute. It's super, super tiny. Like in comparison, I have pretty small hands in comparison to my hand. It's pretty, it's small. It's a Lippmann. Lippmanns are really good. If you're gonna get a stethoscope, I recommend getting a Lippmann. You can hear everything. Listening to babies with this has been a breeze. It's so tiny and so easy that it doesn't bother them and kiddos too. Because I am a labor and delivery, mother baby, and pediatric nurse, so having this is very helpful. It's great for adults as well. If you're in the market for a new stethoscope, <laughs> I recommend the Lippmann Pediatric because it's great. One more, my random favorite, is funny graphic t-shirts. Obviously. No! Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have Whitney Houston on my shirt. But for some reason, I've just been obsessed with kind of more retro graphic t-shirts. And like I said, Target has really good ones, as you guys have seen in some of my hauls. But I, I don't know why. Like, I like to wear them in the videos. I just wear them randomly, and I'm obsessed with them. And I will keep wearing them. They will continue. They're very, um, mo. They're very me. <laughs> I'm discovering that. I'm discovering that, like, these graphic t-shirts are very my style. So I just keep buying tons of them. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all we've been liking this month. Honestly, for the rest of March, everything else has really just kind of, um, sucked. So if it wasn't in this video, we don't like you. Sorry. You just <laughs> suck. No, we're joking. We're totally joking. Wait, why wasn't I one of your favorites? Anyway guys, that is our favorites for this month, things we've really been liking. We hope you enjoyed this video and definitely check the links down below um, if you're interested in any of these products we showed. We didn't really have that many I'm trying. I'm trying to save my money. So I'm trying not to buy too many things, but these are things that I'm so happy that I bought because I ended up loving them. So that's always a good thing when that happens. We're just really boring. Yeah. Too, so yeah. we try. Yeah. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to subscribe to my vlog channel. <laughs> Yay. Mo's vlog channel will be linked down below. And I think that's all we have for this week. So on that note, we will see you guys next Friday. I woke up in Chris Brown's body So how this shit turned into Freaky Friday But we got no choice but to turn